I'm 24 years young, but literally almost everyone that I've met thinks I'm way older than that. So here's what I learned. But first, let's imagine a world where everyone thinks that you're older than you really are. Let's imagine living in a world where you feel like you're steadily declining in health and life and mind and you're just not the ideal look for your age. What are you gonna do, you know? What are you gonna do like? And I just wanna share this with you guys because it's tremendously helped me and I, I hope it can help you in any way possible. So when I first started getting all these remarks about my age, it was definitely when I was 19. And it was funny because when I was 18, everyone said, oh, you look like you're 18. And then from 19, I just think not just that year but my whole life and not to take away from anything that anyone whoever's watching I'm sure you guys have went through a lot in life so I'm not trying to take anything away from you I'm just sharing my experience that I've went through a lot in life so that that could lead it to you know no excuses like oh this is genetics because I have very good genetics whether it's uh, hair or whether it's lifestyle or whether it's um, physique, athleticism, like it's, I have very good genetics, you know, so it was just something that developed ever since I was born, like just little by little shaping that. And, you know, by the time I hit 19, it was everyone. I, I remember my first encounter with that was when I was playing college basketball or post-grad basketball. I was 18 going, no, I was 19. And then I had from all my teammates, like it was one night where I'll never forget it like they took a picture of me and they posted it on an app called snapchat and Everyone was like commenting on my picture from my friends Snapchat and they were basically saying like oh, yeah, this guy looks older. He looks 30 29 36 with four kids, you know some said 40 some said 35 you know, a lot of them were over 35, some of them were just like 30, some of them were like 28, you know, and this was when I was 19, 27, 26, you know, so it was around there, and then I got some 26 too, you know, I, I have good memory, so I remember what people were saying and I, what I was imagining in my mind, and at the time, I didn't really know, I thought, you know, I thought it was kind of funny, you know, I thought, well, this is not that big of a deal, you know. I was an athlete, but I wasn't really knowledgeable about health and fitness and, you know, taking care of myself. Um, and I didn't really care. So I thought that was kind of beneficial, but at the same time, you have to take care, you know. So that was something that really, really stuck with me. Experiences in my life was that although it could be rude what people are saying, um, it also could be true. So putting that in perspective really changed my mindset and it gave me a lot of peace and, and just mental clarity that, well, maybe this is true. Like it could be rude, you know, like if someone calls you obese, maybe you are obese, you know, it could be rude. There could be better ways to go about it. But sometimes I feel like that you're put into certain situations for a reason and things happen the way that they happen so I was very thankful for that and I didn't really look at it as like okay this is rude you know I took it as like okay you know it, it is kind of sad it is kind of depressing but I'm a man and no one cares if you're sad or depressed no one cares so why should you care why should you care if no one else cares about you as a man you know if you keep on stressing if you keep on doing this the way you're living your life, then you're gonna be what everyone else says you are. You're just gonna be a genetic. You know, people love to bring up genetics, but they don't know anything about it. You know, they haven't done a lot of research, so people love to say, oh, genetics is this, this is that. But maybe you should just take advice. Maybe it was a, a blessing in disguise and they were true. So that that's what I, that was the first thing is that, hey, it's rude, but it is kind of true. You know, I, I always looked, not always, but when I became 19, I looked a little bit older than my age. And that really stuck with me. And you should take that in consideration that, 
always keep progressing. Whatever people say, use it as a positive. Okay, well, I'm so young already. If I start now, you know, really taking my health, my wellness, my fitness seriously, my nutrition seriously, and just changing my lifestyle, stop stressing, and I, and I kind of knew this for a while, but it was only till about a year ago until I really knew this, like I really felt it. And I was like, this is what I have to do. It's lifestyle change. You know, it's not genetic, it's lifestyle changes. So when I, once I realized that I knew, okay, this is what I have to do. And since I am so young, if I started now, when I told myself that, which was a couple years ago, but I really realized it until about a year ago, if I start now because I'm so young, the, the progress will skyrocket. And I don't want to have a conceited mindset or like a worldly mindset of like, oh, you just got to look good. It's also internal, external, but also you got to live life and you can't just be focused on who you are, how you look, you know, your health, but your health does matter. Your fitness, your nutrition, everything does matter. So I realized I'm so young. If I start now, you know, it's going to, it's going to improve. But on top of that, another thing that I learned is that if you trash your body for so long, whether you know it or you don't, like me, I didn't know it, and, and you trash your body for so long, how are you going to expect in one day or one year for it to change, you know? So if, if you born a baby and then by the time you're, let's say, 21 years old, for example, if you were obese by the time you're 21, you weren't obese when you were born out of your mother's womb. You weren't obese. It took maybe 10 years, maybe 15, and maybe 21 years to get you to that point, right? So if you're losing some hair, right, you weren't born with it unless you have some certain type of condition. You weren't born with it. It took you several years. Sometimes it takes people 18 years, 20 years. Sometimes it takes people 50 years, right? But I guarantee you, if that same person that lost that hair or got really obese, if they grew up in a different lifestyle, in a different mindset, in a different, you know, culture or if a different place, and they didn't stress, they ate healthy, they worked out, they didn't consume too much, and they also ultimately didn't know too much because that can be a hindrance. You know, knowledge is power. But when you know so much, it can open gateways to different things that really are destroying your mental and physical health. So knowing like, okay, I don't need to know everything. I just need to know what is most important for me because everyone's different. So I guarantee you, if you were someone that's losing hair or doing this, if you grew up in like some remote village or you grew up by the sea or you just grew up with less you know, not saying you're struggling, but you grew up with less and whoever raised you, raised you like, hey, this is what you have is more than enough. And you shouldn't stress. Stress is bad. Stress is not good for you. Stress is not an option. You know, and that's ultimately what I'm learning is that stress is not an option. You have a true, you have a, a, an option to choose. Do I stress or do I not stress? And, and that, that line is so slim. You know, although I'm very young, if I start now, I can change my life. And, you know, I was trashing my body for so long that I'm 24 now. You know, I, I started for really about a year taking care of my health. Obviously, before that, I knew, but I would say it's officially for a year, but I started. It's, it's cool, you know. And I say to people, they're like, oh, you look so old. You're, you're doing all this health stuff. You're, you know, eating organic, wearing organic. You're sleeping, not stressing, you're exercising, good food, you know, not consuming too much of worldly things or doing this and that. And I said, hey, if you're trashing your body for so long since you didn't know you were raised, you, you wouldn't raise yourself, you know, although some people think like that. You, you were influenced by things. So you have to keep the good thoughts and the bad thoughts away. And so that's it. If you are trashing your body for so long, then it's going to take you that amount of time that you trash your body to do this, right? So they're like, oh, Dino, you, you know, you still look like you're 35 plus, you know, you don't look like you're 24, 
years young man and I'm like yeah because what I was doing it's not genetic you know um, me personally I know I figured out that my hair loss is, is not genetic if I had any lines here or if I wasn't my testosterone wasn't as high or if I wasn't as athletic or enough muscle mass you know it was all lifestyle I, I realized that it was all lifestyle and I, I could change it and I've made a lot of improvements and I know that it's gonna get better. A lot of people that I know always be like, Dino, Dino, why are you always doing this? Why don't you have fun? Why don't you do this, that? Why can't you just live life? And I'm like, I am living life, but that's your version of living life. And what I've learned is that I wanna live a life that take care of my body, right? Cause I do have good genetics, but I don't have the best genetics in the world. So I wanna maximize it to the best possible way that I can. So I'm gonna go to sleep early, you know? I'm gonna eat healthy all the time. I'm gonna go work out. And most importantly, I'm not gonna stress because if I don't stress, literally that's gonna change your life. Like I promise you, if you stop stressing right now, and that is a broad thing to do, it's, it's a big thing, but if you really just let go of anything that's stressing you, whether it's mental or it's like physical things, whether it's people or whether it's something in your life or just too much things, you know, consuming too much will just lead to more stress. And I, and I realized when I stopped stressing, like, and I'm not saying I'm perfect because I've had my slip ups, but when I've really stopped stressing it, I seen so much progress in my hair, my face, my skin, my muscle growth, um, my cortisol levels, and just my routine and my energy levels went up. You know, everything went up when I stopped stressing. It really woke me up. It really, like, it, it, I felt like a wake-up call, like I'm, wow, like, I, and I started doing research, and, and I learned how certain other different countries, cultures, of course, I know who I am, where I come from, what I represent, what I don't represent, but of course, what I learned is you have to learn. You have to learn from other people, and when I see some research in some other countries, cultures, um, certain villages, uh, they have certain life expectancies, like over a hundred, they're centenarians. And I, I look at their hair, I look at their lifestyle, I look at their, you know, how healthy they are and they're defying genetics. And I, and I, I figured out genetics, it plays a small role in so many things. And I, and I said, Hey, if there's, you know, some, 80 year old woman who lives on some village and she looks like she's 50 years old but she's 80 years old she has not one drop of gray hair right i've seen it before I, i've seen a lot of 80 year olds but maybe she's 50 60 70s but i've seen a lot of older people with no gray hair no gray hairs and gray hair and i said why why can't i have that you know we, we've been told this so much since we were born that hey your genetics or genetics, hey, if you, you know, we, we've seen people do studies to get taller, you know, after puberty, they've gotten taller. So I've seen people get their hair back, right? I, me personally, you guys go which direction you want. I'm going the natural route when it comes for the hair route. And then you have, you've seen people, you know, do certain things and it's worked for them. So when I started to do this research, I was like, wow, look at them, look at their living. See, 50 year olds still have great hair, 60 year olds, great hair, great fitness. They're walking every day. They're eating healthy all the time because they're not surrounded by any fake food or junk food. They just have real food. And they also have less, so they don't stress as much. They don't stress as much. And that really changed my life and I realized I'm going to work hard one day and I'm going to provide, take care of my family as I'm doing right now as much as I can. And I'm just going to go live on a village because and, and if you can't live on a village, it's like you have to until you get to that point, whatever your goal is, you know, I want to have land and I just want to be away from the world, be away from the world and live a long life. Don't want to be conceited over my looks and all that too much but health is wealth and you want to take care of your body and 
I can't tell you how many times I thought like, oh, maybe this is my destiny, you know, maybe this is my destiny to just not have good hair, not have good skin, not have a lot of muscle mass naturally, you know, not be flexible, mobile, and not just be happy. You know, I thought this was all genetic. I thought this was a part of life. But then when I see like, hey, go live somewhere else. Go see how certain people live. Like, are they better than you? No, they're not better than you. That's just how they were raised, right? So if I'm 24 now, you know, if, if I live a long life, we'll see. I don't know when it is my time to go. But if I live, if I'm 24 and by the time I'm, let's say, 44, I could surely say if I'm following this lifestyle, I can look like I'm 34 by the time I'm 44, you know? And that, that just goes to show that you're 24 now. It's going to take 20 years for you to look like how you want to look. Don't have a conceited mindset just about that, but it is true. You want to be healthy. You want to be healthy. So it's going to take time. Patience is key. But you don't want to just be patient. You want to know what you're doing. You want to draw out a plan. And that's what I learned. I draw it out a plan. I'm like, this is what I do, what I don't do. And and I want to help people around me. You know, I want to help people around me. That's really what I learned is like, hey, I want to let people that are close to you, you, you want them to get the same results. You don't want to push anything on anyone, but you want them to be healthy too. So, and I just wondered, I was like, how do some people, they look so young for their age, they look like this and that. And I just, I said, okay, it, it can't be anything in their blood, like not a gene in their blood. It, it has to be how they were raised, right? And of course, there is influence from their ancestors and, and whatnot. And, and to the, there will be a point, I believe, where like if we don't stop this, if we don't start taking care of ourselves, like, get rid of the inflammation, get rid of the bad food, get rid of consuming too much, you know, just sitting down all day, you know, um, bad posture, so many things. If we don't stop this now, it will become really genetic where it's like kids will be born with that. So we want to be able to the point where like they're not, we're, we're going back how our ancestors lived, you know, going back and just living a peaceful life a man and like people don't care so why should you care why should you care if no one else cares and stress is is a real thing and sadness and depression is a real thing and you know it's it's the the truth that I learned is that the more you stress and the more you're sad about your situation the worse it will get the worse it will get and that was a big eye-opener for me because I got to the point where I liked stress and I liked depression I liked it it became me, it consumed me, and it was a part of daily life. But then when I realized, if you don't stop this, it will get worse. You're being sad about how you look, about maybe your hair, or your physique or something. You don't have enough muscle mass. You have too much inflammation, whatever it be. If you don't stop now, it will only get worse. It will only go, and that, that kind of woke me up. I was like, wow, if I don't stop this right now, it's game over, you know, and it's never too late. That's what they say, right? I'm 24, so continue on about, you know, being a man and people don't care, and, and that's true, and you shouldn't care either, you know, if you're going somewhere, you're insecure, you know, where I struggled with it, where it'd be my hair or not enough muscle mass, you know, although I'm dressing modestly for a man, covering up, you know, as a masculine way. I still thought like, oh, I still want to look better. I want to feel better. I want to be more energetic, less inflammation, more flexibility, more strength. And I said, hey, you can't care what people are thinking. Like you just can't care. You got to stop caring what people think. Because the truth is, is that some people care and they'll probably laugh at you. And then some people, they just don't even notice. But you telling yourself that, oh, they keep noticing this. But regardless of those two sides, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Start changing your life today, right? You can get your hair back. You can, you know, lose the weight. You can gain the muscle. You can be naturally, like, as a man, have high testosterone, you know. You can, 
you can help others around you. You can have less inflammation, more flexibility. You can program your mind to actually want to help eat healthy, real food every day. Like there's just, that's all you want to do is you want to eat because you realize we were put on this earth to eat food. And healthy food is not actually healthy. It's just real food. Healthy food is real food. And then fake food is just products and money and consume. And then you realize, okay, I'm going to be an anti-consumer. And I'm not going to consume things that I don't need. You know? And through all that, when you realize, it's still going to be sad. But then you're going to tell yourself, hey, I'm a man. No one cares, and you shouldn't either. And the more you get sad, the more your health goes down. Right. But then again, I, I feel you guys. I feel you guys, ladies and gentlemen. I feel you. It, it could be sad. It, it can be depressing. It can be that and this. But it's just, it's reality. It's reality. And it's sometimes, sometimes hard to explain. I don't know what to do. But I just tell myself the sadness will never help. Depression will never help. Over emotions and sympathizing stuff like that won't work you know no one cares just be as healthy as you are for you don't try to impress anyone else and see your health skyrocket i'm thankful that you guys stayed till the end of this video to watch it all and i hope that you have some knowledge from it or it was interesting and enjoyable so thank you for that and i'll keep posting if you guys would like please support this channel by like, comment, subscribe, and share. That would help a lot. Thank you. I hope you all have a blessed day.